what bias do you have against your level of success in relationship with your husband? Are you thinking that he should be the primary breadwinner? And so does that hold you back from leaning into more earnings, more success, because it would step on his level of seniority in your relationship as far as him earning more money than you? Or is there a fear that if you earn more money than him, he's going to be upset or he's going to leave you or he's not going to be encouraging, supportive? Like these are legitimate thoughts that women have about leaning into success. And so we have this new space that we can step into and new roles we can fulfill and new levels of success we can achieve. But sometimes we have preconceived ideas about what that means, how we should show up, and if it's right for us to step into that. We may not say it that way. I didn't say it that way. I didn't say, Stephanie, this is not right for you to pursue this. This is not right for you to have all this success. No, I didn't say that to myself. But I was subconsciously having thoughts that if I'm out earning my husband, what does that mean? Like I had to really think about that because I started to have some judgment towards him. I did. And it wasn't anything that he'd said. I was just like, why isn't he earning more money by now? Why isn't he doing this? Like, why can't he keep up? I chose a different path. I chose a different field than he did. There's more opportunity for me in my field than what he chose. I mean, it's that basic. It's that real. But I had a lot of judgment about him as a man and me as a woman and who should be earning and climbing up the income ladder better, faster, stronger. Like all these judgments came up in my mind. I had to work through. And so I recently had the opportunity to sit down and have a conversation with my husband and to talk to him about my goals and my success and what I'm striving for and like all the things I want. And like, what does that mean to him? I wanted to hear it from him. I wanted to see if he was holding on to any biases against me or had any judgments. And I put it all out there for him. I was completely honest. And he was like, no. I've always encouraged you. I want, I see what you have in you. This is him saying this to me. I see what you have in you. I know how driven you are. Like, I want you to go and do this. Like, go be amazing. (laughs) Go have, you have my support and encouragement behind you. And he's willing to, um, I almost said play small, but that's, that's not the right way to say it. But like step back a little bit in what he's doing. He's adjusted his career so he has more time to engage in the family so that he can be more hands-on with our children and have more time to give to them so that that frees me up to have more time to build out my business because we've talked about this. As I'm laying this foundation, I'm really building out. I want to build a solid foundation that gives me great growth potential for the future. And if that's the case, there is more time I'm having to invest right now. So we talked about that and he's willing to give that to me. That's an amazing gift. And that's a sure sign that he's on my side and he's supporting me. And it doesn't bother him. It doesn't reduce his manhood. It doesn't make him question who he is if I earn more money than him. And he's okay with that. But the interesting thing is I had to work to be okay with it myself. I mean, how crazy is that? I thought that was pretty crazy for myself. I thought, oh, I'm 100% on track to being, earning this money and doing these things. Like, this is going to be great. And then when I had the opportunity and I'm finding resistance, I'm like, why is, why am I having resistance to this? Where's this coming from? And I realized part of it is my roots to thinking he is supposed to earn more than I am. And I had to work on what that meant and why I didn't want that to be a part of my future thoughts. I didn't want that to go into the future with me. So I worked through that thought so that I could overcome it and I could release it and I could be okay moving forward. So I challenge you to take time, you know, look through your biases, look through your preconceived ideas about who you think should be earning what money. Um, What does it mean? Is there a judgment you're putting on yourself? Is there a judgment he's assessing to you? Are you judging him? Like, what is it that's coming up? Because you have the amazing ability that our founding mothers did not to be able to go out and earn an income all on your own. You have the ability to make money in ways that people have never had. 
not just women, but men in general. Like we have the ability to earn income like never before. And you have the amazing abundance now to say, I can be an example of what is possible and really lay the foundations for future generations to come. Not just for my own family, but to really leave a legacy of what is possible when strong women step up and they become leaders and they are successful and they do amazing things with the money and the power that they are given. Because I 100% believe that we as women have that ability. How can you embrace that? What do you wanna think about what that means for yourself? But before you can get there, you've got to let go of the preconceived ideas, the judgments and the biases you have about leaning into that and being a woman who has the success, who's potentially out earning your husband or your future mate. Like, what does that look like for you? What do you believe is possible? Question those, work through those thoughts so you don't end up being in a place and holding back your success, stifling your success because you're afraid of what could be. And that's really just a prejudice, fearful idea that was in your mind and not a sure reality. You get to create the reality that you want. How are you going to show up and be that amazing woman, that woman of power, success, leadership, influence, and a powerful legacy? It begins by breaking down your biases on that success. Lean into what is possible for you. Woman, I am so excited. I loved that conversation. Oh, because there's so much that has come up for me out of having these reflective thoughts, out of working through this. And one of the things that I'm leaning in big time with my own coach, because I don't just process the thoughts on my own, but I have a coach too that works on my thoughts with me. And this is one of the things I've been working through because I want to get to a place where I'm making sure that I'm making healthy, conscious, like really fully aware decisions about how I'm moving into my future. How am I embracing what it means to be a woman of success? And I'm not getting caught up and spinning out, holding myself back because of biased thoughts and prejudices that I had set up for myself about what that means. I want to be somebody of really, truly amazing who fulfills her destiny and really leaves an amazing legacy behind me. There is so much that can come from this. When we get thought work, when we coach on this, when we work through these processes. And so I strongly encourage you, visit me at unworthythoughts.com. Let's have a consult. Let's talk through this for yourself. Let's explore what it would be like to be coached and see if that is the right next step for you in leading into your powers and fulfilling your full potential. Visit me at unworthythoughts.com.